Libra. Thank goodness it's Friday, guys. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for being here. And this, of course, is your TGIF for Friday, the 19th of April, 2024. All right, Libra. Let's find out how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. Everything you need, guys, is down below. And with that said, let's begin. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Friday, the 19th of April, 2024. What do we have for my Libras? Thank you, Michael. I don't know why. Um, no, says Michael. I don't know why. I'm seeing a woman wearing a skirt. It's see-through. People are avoiding telling her that she needs to wear a petticoat. It's as if, oh no, I'm going to embarrass her. Libra, you may feel judged by someone. You may not know why. Okay. All right. Beautiful Libras. See what's going on. Now you could be masculine. <laughs> you could be wearing a skirt. I don't, I don't know. Let's see what's going on. The sun. Libra, this is happiness, expansion, growth. I'm sitting in the sun. Life is good. Martini on one side, right? Sunglasses on the other. You're chilling is the energy. And you're a star. <laughs> Libra. Now, for some of you, you may have a Leo and maybe an Aquarian wanting to be with you. Why do I feel as if you're not bothered? You know what, says Libra? I don't care what people think about me. I don't care because I'm happy and I'm a star and I'm nice and balanced. So, I don't know. Libra, this is you. <laughs> Basically saying, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but this is me. I'm happy. So uh, it's your problem. You know, that sort of thing. Page of Wands. You've got someone very interested moving towards you. Or you could be happily communicating with various people. Queen of Swords. And there you are, Libra. You're coming through as a feminine. Oh, and we have a King of Cups who is super keen. Libra. Yes, this is the person who is wanting to be with you. But your energy is pretty straight. I mean, look at you. I mean, this guy is not saying anything, but staring at you as if to say, oh my goodness, she's my dream come true, but I can't say anything because she's going to say I'm happy single. Look at your energy. Yeah, I'm just doing my own thing. I'm really chilled. I'm meditating now. Don't bother me. And there is someone here who's obsessively watching you. You're chilled. You're not letting this affect you. You're not going to be swayed. Yeah. But Libra, are you also not bothered? Okay. Ten of Swords. All right. We delve deeper. Two of Wands. The Hermit. Yeah, Libra. You feel somehow that this person is going to bring chaos and drama and stress into your life. And what you're thinking about is, you know what? I'm pretty happy by myself. At the moment, life is good. I'm messaging people now and again, but ultimately, I don't want to get my heart broken. I don't want to have to make a serious decision. I just want to be by myself. Yeah, Libra, you just, yeah, you want to be by yourself and you want to work and that's it. You may be hermiting yourself away a little bit. You've got someone here, Libra, who really wants to be with you, but your attitude is, you know what? I am happier, more relaxed by myself. I don't have to think about anyone else. I don't have to do anything for anyone else. I'm just concentrating on me and my life. 
and it's pretty damn good. And Libra, that's it. <laughs> You've got this person pining for you, keeping tabs on you, wanting to be with you. But I think that they realise, Libra, you're totally uninterested. Page of Cups. Libra, this is you apologising, saying to this person, I'm sorry, but um, I'm really busy right now. I don't have any time. I don't want to talk about going out, dating, having a relationship. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Um, I'm pretty good. Libra, temperance. You may be saying to a Sagittarian, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Or you could be being protected by the angels at this time, Libra. And you simply don't want to get involved with anyone. Your work could be very important to you. Yeah, you're holding back, Libra. You're holding back. You don't want this. Yeah, it's as if you come any closer, I'm going to run. If you come any closer, I'm going to lock the door so you can't come in. It's that sort of energy, Libra. Yeah, Libra, Nine of Cups. You don't want this person to sabotage your happiness, Libra. That is what we're looking at. You somehow feel that if you open the door to this person, you're going to be having sleepless nights, you're going to be stressed out, they're not telling you the truth, or stressed out, they're going to be unfaithful. Some of you may be worried that this person sees you doing well and they want to kind of hitch themselves onto your bandwagon and you're not having any of it. It's as if I'm happy, I'm secure, I'm relaxed. Please leave me be. Libra. Might be short reading, guys. Okay, underneath the deck we have the Ace of Coins. So for some of you, Libra... You may be building up a lump sum of money for something, or you could be thinking about moving. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing the bigger view, right? The bigger picture, I should say. Some people may feel, Libra, you're keeping yourself stuck, but you're not. You're just very happy doing what you're doing, and you don't feel as if you need to apologise for it. Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. You've got someone coming in, Libra, after quite a long time who was wanting to commit to you. But you're looking at the past and what you're remembering, Libra, is the drama this person brought into your life. Because ultimately, they may have been juggling you with the Queen of Wands or they treated you as the Queen of Wands. And that was a mistake. Oh, yeah. So, happy little Libra goes skipping off into the sunshine and this person is sitting there glued to their laptop trying to figure out how to get back into your life. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move into messages from the angels. Let's see what the angels want to say. Okay, so Archangel Michael, what do the angels have to say? What's the guidance from the angels for Libra? Thank you, Michael. If you believe. Libra, for some of you, you have a very strong intuition. I think you believe you're on the right path. Okay. Success. Libra, you are heading to success. I think you believe in yourself. I think you believe that you can manifest success in your life. Goodness me, you're listening to your intuition and your intuition is telling you to just keep going, Libra, to just keep going. In the near future, okie dokie, I always like to get a timing card. In the near future, there are going to be big happy changes. <laughs> Libra, wow, guys. I've just seen one, two, three, four on the clock, guys. So you are moving forwards. Wow. 
Yeah, so in the near future, there are going to be big, happy changes and your situation will improve. Very clear, right? So Libra, you could be trying to save money, Ace of Pentacles. You could be thinking of moving. You're obviously doing well in the career that you're in. You're extremely happy. You're balanced. You're relaxed and you're working hard. It's as if don't disturb me. The Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, I'm busy. I'm busy building a foundation for my future. And this person can only stand there and watch from the sidelines thinking, oh, wow. Huh. I wish I treated Libra better in the past. Ah, uh, it's a little bit too late, right, Libra? It's a bit late. <laughs> okay, anything else? Trust. Trust in the divine's plan. You are moving swiftly onto a new path, into a new cycle, Libra. There are going to be changes. The changes that are coming in for you are going to somehow improve your life. And I feel, Libra, for the majority of you, this is down to your own hard work. And I think you have simply got somebody sitting there in regret. But there we go. C'est la vie. All right, Libra, let's get some messages from this person to you. Let's do that. Guys, I'm moving into a different deck, the Hidden Truth Oracle, because you are simply sat in a place of truth and honesty. So I feel we need the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. I want to feel that way again. I lost myself for a little while. Okay, maybe they didn't know what they wanted. I regret lying to you. Ooh, ooh, okay, Libra. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah. Libra, they're looking back at you, living your best life, super happy working hard, doing what you love, moving forward, creating peace and balance in your life, building your foundation. And this is someone who was sitting there thinking, what did I do? What did I do? What an idiot. Okay. I'm becoming a better person. Libra, um, you are a really good influence on whoever this is. They may be sat in their shadow. They may have had to deal with toxic patterns of behaviour. You were a really good influence and they've learned from you. Why do I feel this is a karmic soulmate? They've learned from you. I want to tell you how I feel. And this one wants to come out. I wonder if you're happy without me. Uh, yeah, Libra, I think you are, right? I think... <laughs> I think you are pretty happy without this person, not being horrible about it, but um, I don't see you pining or upset. You're kind of sitting there thinking, thank God, because I can now get on with my life. I can get on with my work and I can concentrate on me. Yeah, Libra, you were the best thing in this person's life. But I think were is coming through very strongly because Libra, you don't want this person back again. And I think they know it. And I think that's why they're obsessively watching you. It's as if they're looking for any tiny little sign that you're going to open the door again. And I don't think you will. Libra, I don't think you're sitting there feeling all screwed up and angry and wanting to take revenge. I think you've literally put this person in the past. You're moving forward. You're doing well. And you're not looking back. And they can't believe it. So Libra, let's move to a second reading. It may, guys, be just about you. But that's good, right? <laughs> let's do that, Libra. I will see you in the second reading. Okay, Libra, we're delving in. This is the Witch's Tarot, guys. It's an old deck, but I love it. <laughs> Here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the future, please, for my Libras? General energies 
for my Libras. What does the future hold, please, Michael? Let's look at the next few months. Thank you. I don't know why I'm getting a vision of an old man in a sackcloth and a stick looking up at massive stone doors, stone doors, and he's shouting open sesame and they are very slowly creaking open. And he's walking through into the darkness and the doors close behind him. I don't know what that's about, but I've just seen that. Libra, you may be entering a different phase of your life. You may be moving up to the next level. You could be opening up to your spiritual gifts for some of you. If you're already um, deeply involved in your spirituality, you could run a spiritual business. Your gifts are going to be increasing. Your abilities are going to be heightening. Okay. Knight of Cups. <laughs> I'm chuckling, Libra, because I don't think this person's giving up, but there we go. Oh, wow. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And there we have you. So you're sitting in your feminine energy. You are an empress, Libra, and you know it. And you're sitting on the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Libra. Now, it's symbolic, okay? You could have just paid off your mortgage. You could be putting money in the bank as savings. You don't need to be a millionaire or anything. But you're doing well due to your own hard work. You're stable. The King of Pentacles. Libra, I've got to be blunt. And you guys are going to go, oh, really, Dabs? Yep. Um... For some of you, you're nervous that this person is wanting to sit in a financially stable place if they are linked to you. They want to become the king of pentacles because you're sat doing quite well and that might make you feel uncomfortable. For others of you who aren't in that situation, you're doing well, but you know, you're still having to work hard. It may well be Libra that you've got two guys coming in one of which could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. The other guy could be younger than you, but sort of really keen. And you're sat in the middle with your Ten of Pentacles thinking, I'm OK. I don't want to be with anyone. I know that I could potentially move into a relationship if I really wanted to. But um, I kind of good just me. Yeah, Libra. The Magician. Okay, the star. The star card has come out twice now. Libra, you're manifesting peace, happiness, stability, contentment, forward movement. For some of you, you may be working on a business, becoming a star, and you're holding back. Strength card. You're holding back from reconciling with anyone. Six of Swords, because you're finally in a place, Libra, where you're relaxed and happy. There's no drama, right? Four of Wands. I think you are concentrating on your own stability and your own happiness. Wow, these are powerful cards, Libra. Look at you. Looking out across that ocean, thinking about your future. Queen of Swords. And I think, Libra, if whoever this person or people question you, well, um, I'm here, do you want a relationship? You know, can I take you out? You're going to be very honest and it's going to blow them away. Yeah, the sun. So Libra, what you're saying is, the truth is, 
I'm really happy by myself. And they're going to be looking at you and sort of blinking in disbelief. What, you don't want any form of relationship? Um, no, says Libra. I'm pretty good on my own. So, um, bye now. Have fun. Enjoy your life. But it's not going to be with me, I'm afraid. It's not going to be with me. You're on a new journey, Libra. You're very powerful at this point of time. Pretty simple reading, Libra. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, two of swords, eight of pentacles. Two of swords is, please don't read me again. Please don't contact me again. I'm so sorry, but um, it's done. Whatever connections you had with these people in the past, you're working. Working really hard on your own stability. Expanding a business, moving up the career ladder. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be talking to anyone who you feel isn't wanting to be with you for the right reasons. But Libra, there's also a sense here that for some of you, you don't actually want to be in a relationship. You're pushing away a king of wands. It's as if, yeah, you're very sexy. Mm hmm. I'm sure you have a lot of ladies running after you, but you're not for me. Page of Pentacles. Libra, you may offer this person friendship. They may be a bit mortified because this is you. Concentrating on your career. That's it. So don't bother me. I'm working on my Eight of Pentacles. I'm hoping to build up my stability. Seven of Wands. No, I don't want this... this King of Wands coming anywhere near me. Mm, you could be my friend, but um, I don't have a lot of time because I'm working. Libra. <laughs> but guys, that's what we have. Um, let's get some messages from the universe, Libra. I think I'm dealing with a career woman here or someone who's simply been messed around one too many times. And what they're realizing is, you know what? I'm so much happier by myself. Me, myself and I. Yeah. All right. Let's get some messages. So, Archangel Michael, what are the messages for my Libra from the universe? Thank you. Breathe. This could be you doing meditation, Libra. You could enjoy yoga or something like that. Or you're simply enjoying your own peace. Your own peace. A change in the wind. Now, Libra, for some of you, you may be about to undertake a career move. You could be actually moving to a different location. And right now, particularly now, you are wanting to be by yourself. Community. You may have a lot of people that support you, Libra. It could be the immediate community, your neighborhood. It could be your spiritual community. You're progressing with a number eight. You're doing well. And Libra, I think you're concentrating on your own stability. Building blocks, ten of pentacles. Yeah. So Libra, a pretty cut and dried reading. Under the deck is new life. You could be very excited about what the next few months are going to bring you. So from here, as always, let's close out with a message from Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Libras? Thank you. Wow. Libra, your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage or taxes. Libra, you're all about your security. Beautiful. For some of you, you may be moving. For some of you, you may be aiming to pay off a mortgage. Wow. So, guys, I'm leaving the reading there. A power reading for you for this week. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And many blessings.
Bye, Libra.